Hi guys, so Shannon here today and um, I'm going to talk about my bullying story. So if you get triggered by any of this sort of stuff, please, please do not watch this video. I'm sorry that this is a really sad, depressing kind of video, but um, I just, I wanted to get this video out there so then you guys know that I have gone through stuff and you're not the only one. So let's get started. So it all started with when I was at this suburban area and we were getting home invaded for no reason. And because of that, and I was only like eight years old, they thought it'd be best that we got emergency moved. So I got moved to another city, another suburban area, which was completely different. And uh, I don't even know. I'm still in the house that I had to move to because of what was happening. But um, when I moved here, I was nine years old, turning 10. It was in 2010. Um, I had to go to the school and it was a, oh, I hate thinking about it. But um, I was in year five and as soon as I went there, people used to stare at me, give me the most evilest looks. Like, I don't even know. They thought I was disgusting. Um, They'd be like, oh my god, a monster's just entered into the school. Everyone run away. She's ha like, she has AIDS. Stuff like that. And then people used to bully me because I was, you know, I wasn't a very small girl. I'm not going to lie. I was very big for my age. I was kind of tall and kind of short. I was like average kind of height. But I was very wide. And I had a tummy, you know, <laughs> and a very chubby face. And people thought it was okay to bully me. I sat there and I put up with it for so many months Then I, I snapped. I started misbehaving because that was my only escape of feeling okay and like I was, you know, still alive and breathing. So that's what I'd done. Fast forward, year five, year six, it was even worse, oh my god. People used to push me, shove me, trip me over, laugh at me tell me I should just, you know, end my life and stuff like that. It was horrible. It was very horrible. I remember one time I walked past this guy. I'm not going to say his real name. We're going to say Smith. And I walked past Smith and my hand was swinging because you know how you walk your arms swing like that. I was swinging and my right arm accidentally touched his private part. And everyone just, it spread across within 30 seconds, everyone knew because of the phones and stuff like that. And yeah, they're like, oh my god, you touched Smith's penis. Oh my god, that's the only thing you could get. And just, it was horrible, they're like, oh my god, you just like to touch everyone. Oh my god, you're going to be a rapist and stuff like that. It's like, are you serious? Like, are you that stuffed up in your head or, you know? I hated it. I hated it so much. And that never ended at all. Even when I finished grade six, it was still there. Everyone still like called me that girl that touched Smith's stick and stuff like that. And then year seven, I remember this girl, I'm not gonna say her real name, I'm gonna say Tree for her. Tree, she used to start on me for no, absolutely no reason. Like she'd just come up and be like, you are really ugly, you know that? You are one disgusting person. She just owns that sort of stuff and just say it dead in front of me. She would say it straight at my face with a very, very straight face and she would have a very serious voice and I used to be like, okay, I get it. I'm not pretty. I'm not good enough. I get it. Okay, you don't need to tell me. Just go away. And then I posted a photo on Facebook saying, um, smile because you're beautiful. Um, and all these fights just started. People saying, untag me. Why'd you tag me in this? Um, this is so stupid, blah, blah, blah. I can insert photos of it. It's just that I go all weird every time I think about that. I may, may not insert photos. Um, I started resorting to self-harm and I have some scars on my body that I don't feel comfortable with till today. And I might insert a photo of one on my arm. And yeah, year seven was horrible. I couldn't deal with the fact that everyone was starting on me. The school used to send me out onto horse riding programs. They sent me out to this behavioral school. Um, they sent me out to some place about bullying. I'm going to be honest with you, someone who gets bullied and you try to take them away from the situation, it's not the person 
who's the victim should be getting taken away. It should be the people that bully the person that should, because they have a problem. They start on you because they have something wrong with them. That's why they start. They're either jealous of you or their life's not perfect. And it's that simple. That's how they start. It was just, I hated it so much. I went to high school in year eight and it didn't get any better. You know, people call me a, a, a veggie. It's, that's pretty normal though. A slut and stuff like that. And then year nine, rumors went around saying I had sex at eight years old when that wasn't even true. Just like all these rumors. And then I almost got smashed by this like room of girls from one of my ex friends. We're gonna call her Marshall. <laughs> And she turned around and said, oh, she said this about me, blah, blah, blah. And I literally, like, I had a whole group of girls and they were, like, in year 10 to 12. And they're, like, twice the size as me. I'm like, I didn't do anything. I didn't start anything. And they didn't believe me. They just, they kept on starting on me. They walked around the entire school twice trying to fight me. And I just cracked it. I told them, I said, you want to hit me? Hit me in the right spot. That didn't work, did it? Um, teachers came running out and stopped them from touching me so yeah and then <sighs> that there happened um, and year 10 I moved to another school because I got expelled and after that I went into the school and this chick was bullying another chick and because I was so sensitive about what happened to me I instantly got up, I threw the desk halfway across the room, I picked up a chair, threw it at the person that was bullying her and then I had her up by the wall with um, my arm against her neck. I said don't you ever fucking dare bully people like that because I, I couldn't deal with it, like, I honestly could not deal with it and I couldn't get suspended or um, be in trouble because it was my first day there at this new school and you know I got very violent in year 10 this kid just turned around and said something real smart to me and then I sack whacked him and punched him in the mouth I got suspended for that um, I broke doors I broke glass windows I just got very violent because of what happened to me through primary and then through high school I resorted to misbehaving I resorted to treating my parents like crap and then I was treating my teachers like crap I'd say nasty things to them so yeah and then year 11 I calmed down quite a lot I stopped misbehaving I just you know I just stopped completely now the bullying has stopped I don't cop so yeah I did try to commit suicide and I'm really thankful that I didn't succeed in it and I'm living and I'm walking and I see my family grow and I watch my nieces and my nephews grow up so I'm very thankful that I'm still here today so I just want to say you know please just hold in there um, you know try your hardest not to harm yourself you just don't think about doing that sort of stuff just hold in there it gets better it really does um, so if you like my more honesty kind of me videos just comment them down below and I can possibly do more and I'm also gonna do how I style my hair because this isn't the proper hairstyle I've just got it like this for now but um yeah thank you for watching make sure make sure you subscribe and you also check out my vlog channel and yeah